What's up guys? So today I will be talking about survey bias and how to avoid them. Let's jump right in. Surveying your customers is vital for success, but there are so many ways of doing it wrong. Today we'll be looking into common survey biases and how to avoid them. Number one, answer order bias. The order in which you display your answers is very important. People are most likely to select the first one because they don't want to read and consider the other options. Ain't nobody got time for that. So how to eliminate answer order bias? Display answers in a random order each time the survey is loaded. Tools like Involve Me can help you do this automatically. Number two, agreement bias, saying yes to everything. Survey respondents don't always say yes because they mean yes. Sometimes they're trying to avoid further questions. Because again, ain't nobody got time for that. And sometimes you're asking the questions in a very suggestive way. Do you like having 100 plus organic, locally sourced flavors to choose from? Is a brag, not a question. These questions are biased and won't get you actionable feedback. How to eliminate agreement bias? Give people less answers to choose from and don't ask self-serving biased questions. Number three, societal expectations bias. We all feel the pressure that society puts on us in our personal and professional lives. We feel the need to act, think, and behave in a certain way to fit a societal mold, which is not always a bad thing. But it could be very bad when you are trying to collect relevant data and honest customer opinions. If you ask a question like, do you think it's important to use natural cleaners in your home? Of course everyone is going to say yes. They don't want you to think that you're some kind of monster. People are going to say yes because it is expected of them. And now you've wasted time and valuable marketing dollars. How to eliminate societal expectations bias? Ask more questions on specific issues and use past tense. Something like, when was the last time you used brand cleaners in your home and can you tell us what they were? Number four, prestige bias. People exaggerate anything related to societal standings and achievements. Whether we are adding an inch to our height or rounding up our monthly income, we do this so we can feel more important, powerful, and influential in our social groups. Needless to say, this prestige bias can prevent you from gathering better data from your customers. Questions about income, education, success metrics, or anything else that people would be insecure about won't receive honest answers, so it's better to avoid them if you can. How to avoid prestige bias? If you can't avoid asking prestige questions, then it's better to get it from a third-party source where it is observed and not self-reported. Number five, stereotype bias. Stereotypes are everywhere and you can't just snap your finger and make your survey respondents stop reinforcing them. But that doesn't mean you should pretend that stereotypes don't exist, especially when you are collecting customer data. How to avoid stereotype bias? If possible, stay away from stereotypes altogether or try not to reinforce them with your questions. For example, there's an obvious stereotype that seniors aren't exactly good with technology. You would be reinforcing the stereotype if you asked a question like, do you think that seniors can adopt new technologies easily. A better question that would deliver more meaningful answers would be, what are some of the new technologies that the seniors in your life have managed to adopt in their daily lives? The latter avoids reinforcing the stereotype by shifting the focus onto the results rather than the problem. Number six, memory bias. We are forgetful creatures, and we tend to mold out memories to fit our current beliefs. Memories are malleable and inconsistent. It's a natural process, but it can jeopardize your survey data. People will say something happened earlier or later than it actually did, or will say something took less or more time. If a customer feels like their order took forever to be shipped, they will most likely exaggerate and say that it took two weeks when in reality, it only took four days. How to avoid memory bias? Specifics with memories are difficult to recall. Asking more general questions instead without too many specifics will help you get more accurate data. Chances are you most likely have this information internally and that you don't actually need to be asking your customers at all. Always ask your CRM before asking your customers. Well, I really hope this helped you in eliminating your survey bias. And if it did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That would really help us out. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time we post a new video. Thanks for watching. Bye.